of you may know something about a magazine called Labour Briefing that went on for 50 years and was actually really a bolster for the left. It had all sorts of people involved in it, including Jeremy Corbyn, Ken Livingston and John McDonald's, and even had people who used to think were on the left or wanted you to think are on the left who are no longer so like Margaret Hodge. Anyway, it's got 50 years of these wonderful tradition and archives. And what's happened is that we're making a, uh, a new Zoom show Mondays, starting on Monday, 7 p.m. every week. And what we're really wanting to do is have a new take on how the left does shows. We've got a very, very different style of doing things. As Tina can show you, if she shows you a part of our introduction, Tina. Hold on to your seats. Now, now, the thing is about the programme, you know, we've, we've basically designed that to say we're doing things very, very differently. Um, we're going to be non-factional. Our whole purpose is about building the, the left. And instead of doing uh, what Crispin and you do on a Sunday, which is almost like a magazine programme, we're going to focus on one issue and go into that issue in depth. The other thing we want is to use the briefing archive, which is now going to, is has been digitalized, and actually learn from the things that happened in the past. We are, as well, going to be uh, very much promoting free speech, free speech on the left. We are not going to be no platforming anyone. And what we want is really challenging conversations. And by the way, we are at the moment running a competition in which there are the most stupendous prizes, the kind of stupendous prizes that only the left can give you. If you can guess where that music comes from. And I think we're going to put a link in the uh, chat so that you can have a look, hear the music again, See if you can identify and get a whole load of information. But I really, really hope that people will join us Mondays at seven o'clock and you can register for this week's show, which is going to be about International Women's Day. So if you want a little bit of break from Ukraine and you want to see a new take on what's happening with women in this year, then have a look at us on Monday.